Hey everybody, today is June 6th of 2021, and yep, I finally got me a new mic setup, I guess. Well, it's the same old mic, but I finally got me a mic mount complete with, um, pop filter and everything. I'm gonna get you to the side over there. <clears throat> I still have the, the original mic stand. Because, why not? I mean, I'm not about to get rid of it. When I'm ready to move to Japan, this will be pre pretty good, um, I guess, decent guard against keeping the mic itself damaged. Which is pretty helpful, I guess. <coughs> but yeah, I'm going to update it on a couple things to start things off. The, um, <clears throat> Indiegogo campaign is going to be a bit later than expected. Mainly because when I went to do the campaign itself, it advised I have a, a little bit of a video at the ready. Mainly so I can, I don't know, show what it is to, to expect, which is pretty good advice, actually. Because I can't just have a couple stock images like, here you go! <laughs> Not gonna work that way. <clears throat> so, I have three of the characters at the ready. Be it the MC, the princess, and of course the village warrior, Aelita. So that's awesome! <laughs> uh, but it's nowhere near enough. I mean, it's somewhat close enough, but not quite. If uh, that makes any sense. So, <clears throat> what I would need is the uh, six villains. That's right, six. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six. They're all going to be named after Kim Stones. Which one I will not say in this video. But, that's kind of what you'd come to expect. I guess not really come to expect, but <coughs> that is kind of expected at this point. I mean, just have those characters, especially since the films are going to be one of the most important pieces. I mean, with a protagonist, obviously you got to have an antagonist, right? So once all that is done, done. The Indiegogo will, uh, the Indiegogo campaign will be going in. Let's see what happens in there. I guess one thing real quick is I am actually considering doing some um, VR LPs in the future. Uh, Couple ideas, and I have to wait until I get another one of these. Preferably, <clears throat> preferably the Quest Two, because I've had a little buyer's remorse when it comes to the um, the Oculus Rift S. I mean, don't get me wrong; I don't one hundred percent regret buying this because I'm loving the shit out of this headset, but. The wires kind of make things a little awkward at times. <clears throat> because I had to slow down when using it. I'm, I'm a bit worried I trip over the wire and possibly cause a little bit of damage to the inter internal wiring. So <clears throat> I wish I'd have got myself the um, Quest 2 to it being wireless. I don't. I have to have that worry. I mean, I got the wired one because I didn't want to have the battery run out, but at the same time, it's like, oh, okay, this is all great. I have to worry about that wire. So, there's that. <clears throat> and I guess, until I get everything going, I've been 
frantically trying to get a job outside my home. <clears throat> At least, so I can get a little extra income. No luck. So far. But, I am trying, and I will not give up until I get a job outside the home, because... Honestly, that's kind of what we need. And thanks to the uh, government lockdown, not the pandemic itself, but the lockdown. Thanks, California government. He's so grateful for you, ye Kevin Newsom already. But <clears throat> things have been difficult. More so than usual. But, as I said before, I'm not about to give up, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Although, my game will likely be in production before then. Given how long I've been trying. It will land me a job, because I'm... I mean, I'd be entirely independent, so, yeah. There's a silver lining there. <laughs> and I guess, um... <clears throat> there are a couple updates beyond that. I have done some recording of, um... Metopia. At least, some footage of the demo. I underestimated how long the demo goes on for. <laughs> so, it's going to be a three-parter. This will likely go up before it does. But, <clears throat> what I like is, you can cast different me's. And I ended up borrowing a couple of me's from a friend on the Switch. I think it turned it out. Turned it out. I think it turned out alright. Of course, I had to hand make a um, me from scratch. <clears throat> because, well, I didn't have my mortal enemy on the Switch. Friend roster, so I had to make one. Mortal enemy, you know who you are. I know you've been stalking my YouTube channel. I'm referring to you. But whatever. <clears throat> Neither here nor there right now. So. I guess the uh, last thing I will say is. <clears throat> I am accepting suggestions or submissions for the game, like what you would want to see in the game. The rule you need to keep in mind is I will deny anything political. Anything at all. <clears throat> anything related to the Black Lives Matter terrorist organization, Antifa, anything against Joe Anything against or for Biden, anything against or for Trump, or anything of that sort. Anything that has anything to do with real world politics will be denied. So don't even bother. And if I'm unsure that's political, I will simply do a Google search to verify that myself. And if I find that it's political, gone. It's not making it. Because the idea behind my company, you know, like Moon Enigma, it hasn't been established yet, but it will be. <clears throat> I want absolutely nothing related to politics, because I want to prove that you can make a good game without it getting political. So, there's that. Anyway, that's a bit. Why not a bit? That's all there is for this update. Or vlog, I guess. It's more of a vlog video than an update, but... Oh, actually, there is one thing 
I will mention, in addition to Metopia, I will be doing another LP. It will be an RPG. It's going to be a game from uh, Square. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> and no, it's not going to be the Final Fantasy VII Remake. I already have a video on that up on my channel. And as fun as the game was to go through the first time, this is not a fun to commentate, you know? Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Give me that thumbs up, type some shit up in that comment section, and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Also, check to make sure you're still subscribed, if you are subscribed already, because YouTube has been unsubbing people from independent creators, like, well, presumably you and I. And they've been removing likes from independent creators' videos. And I can really remove, remove dislikes from mainstream sources, especially from the White House, ever since Biden's presidency. So, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, help get this video out in the algorithm, and I'll see you guys next time, presumably for the LP. Peace!